Hi Pisces. I've got the cards ready to go, so let's find out what's going on and what you need to know. Okay, so in the present, we have the Knight of Wands and the Devil. So you're going to be getting a message if you haven't gotten it yet. This is from um, someone who's very passionate, someone nice looking. This could be a Capricorn energy, but we're going to clarify after we get the cards laid out. What's crossing you? You have the Four of Swords, so there's something that you're healing from. In the past, you have the Four of Pentacles. There was something that you were holding on to very tightly that you didn't want to let go of. In the recent past, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there was a shift that took place. Something changed. What you're thinking about, this can be a reunion. This can be a celebration. And what you're fearing, we have the King of Pentacles. So this is in uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. You are, um, you are in, in this power of where you're having growth right now. There's things that you're working on that are going to be very fruitful. What you're hoping for, you have the sun, so you just really want your happiness. And the future outcome we have the Six of Pentacles, Material Success. What's going to happen in the future, Spirits? I'm seeing you. There's something here in the near future that's leaving you feeling stuck and, stuck and unable to move. So we're going to clarify this. Something that you're feeling blindfolded to. Um, there could be someone coming to offer you an apology or something with the Princess of Cups. But let's clarify. Let's get this other deck to clarify. Spirits, what's happening with Pisces in the present? Okay. So we have the lover's card. So this is a choice that's going to have to be made. Um, there is someone rushing in very quickly, someone with a lot of passion. And um, they're going to be offering you love. This is a connection. This is someone that you really love and care about. What's crossing Pisces? Okay, so what's crossing you to clarify this four of swords we have the devil again so this could be someone that you're feeling like you're having a hard time detaching from and um, you could be feeling stuck to this person and you're trying to heal what happened in the past Yeah, you were holding on to this love very tightly. You didn't want to let go. This was someone that you really had a lot of love for. This is someone that you could have had a home with. Someone you were married to. It was a committed relationship.
I'm seeing he I'm seeing you thinking about this person. This can be a Aries Leo or Sagittarius energy also, but I'm seeing you thinking about this person and a reconciliation, this person rushing in with a message. You're going to be making a judgment call. It's going to leave you feeling stuck in your head. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Swords, the Sun, and the King of Wands in the near future. So I'm seeing you feeling blindfolded and stuck like unable to move here but I do see a messenger coming in you're going to be receiving a message and this message is going to make you very very happy with the Sun card you're going to be feeling on top of the world and very happy this message is going to allow you to take the blindfolds off and you're not going to be feeling stuck anymore. The sun is going to illuminate everything so that you can see and understand. And then we have the king of wands here. So this is someone very nice looking. Um, they want... They're coming in with an offer, and whatever this offer is, this is really going to make you happy. This is a, a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo energy, too. This is someone who goes after what they want. Very fiery energy. And what, what you're fearing here, to clarify this King of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Wands. So you could be worried about, um, you're going to feel defensive maybe. Maybe you're worried about feeling defensive or guarded. So to clarify the Empress, we have the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> you, <clears throat> There's a lot of growth taking place around you. There's a lot that you're working on, Pisces. And um, I'm seeing here with the Queen of Swords, if you are very loving and giving, but if people don't come to you right, you will cut them off. You're in this Queen of Swords energy where you're not afraid to cut people off. Okay, and so to clarify the Sun card, we have the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> so, whatever this is that... Um, is making it so that you're having a hard time sleeping possibly or just really feeling stuck in your head. This is going to be released from you with the sun card. You're going to be feeling very happy. Why is the six of pentacles here? Okay, so in your future, I see you moving forward because you're, you're going to be moving out of this five of pentacles energy where you could be feeling a lack of money or feeling left out in the cold by someone, maybe ghosted, um, 
<clears throat> I'm seeing with the with the six of pentacles this is material success so if you're feeling a lack of in your finances or something this is going to be released from you you're going to be very stable with the king of pentacles <clears throat> your money's going to be really good Because you're moving forward with the chariot card. You're taking action and moving forward. Spirits, what is the what is going to happen in the near future for Pisces? In the near future, here we go again. Material success. And the Princess of Cups. So there's a message that you're going to be getting. And it's going to be a wish fulfillment. Something that you've been wishing on. And it's going to enable you to enter into a new cycle. There's going to be one cycle ending. And a brand new beautiful cycle beginning. And this is, um, and uh, this is pure love from the universe offering you a gift. This is also including with the judgment card. This is a new beginning in love. And you will be feeling very stable, Pisces. You're going to be feeling very giving, loving, and stable. And we have material gain again. So um, Spirit wants you to, to know if you are um, in any type of financial struggles right now or anything like that. This is going to be released from you. There's something that you're working on that's going to have a lot of growth with the Empress card. So you need to keep working on it. And um, let's, let's get a Moonology card. You're very close to achieving your goals, Pisces. very very close expect powerful change okay Pisces so keep working on what you're working on um, I am seeing a message that you're going to be getting soon so you're gonna have to make a decision with the lovers card this is a connection someone's going to be rushing in with a lot of passion but with this devil card, I don't know if you want to accept it or not. But it could just be um, material gain because we keep getting material gain here. But you do know your own story and um, what this signifies to you. So this devil card um, could be really signifying that material gain is coming towards you very quickly but I'm also seeing a message new love and a wish fulfillment happening for you here in the near future so there's a lot of changes that are going to be taking place Pisces thank you for watching and I'll see you later bye